Hi, in today's video I want to give you a short review and couple of close-ups of this new portable OBD2 car scanner. So this is the new scanner that I just got. On the bottom of the device we have three indicator lights. The one on the left is, uh, I think, some kind of error. The one in the middle, I think it's a power on and off indicator. And on the right hand side, this is the Bluetooth. This is the device that you plug in straight to your uh, port in your car. And then everything operates with your smartphone. This device gets paired with the uh, software on your smartphone and that's how you get results. So I'm going to plug it in and first before I'm going to give you my review I'm going to go and drive with it a little bit and I'm going to want to see if I can get some live readings on it. Then I'm going to give you my review after a day or two. So the first thing of course you need to locate your port where you can attach this device to. So this is the first thing where we're going to do. Plug it in. And now we can see that the power indicator light is on. And now I'm gonna turn the ignition and then we'll see what's going on. So the ignition key to on position. And now I'm going to go and start the app. And now this is the app that I've previously installed. If you're going to have a problem uh, trying to connect to Bluetooth, make sure that the location on is also allowed on the Bluetooth connection. That's what is required for this device to be paired correctly with your uh, smartphone. Okay, so I'm right now connected to my device. I had a little problems connecting, but it took me probably half an hour before I figured out what was wrong. I just do a couple of things that prevented uh, this tool to connect properly with my phone. Once we are connected uh, to our scanning device, we have basically three different categories. First one is all system diagnostics, then maintenance functions and OBD functions. In all system diagnostics, we can go and choose a make and model of our car that we want to scan. And for example, I have a Mitsubishi, so I'm going to choose Mitsubishi. Now the smartphone is connecting with our device and now here is what we can do. We can scan a health report, system scan, we can select a specific system which we want to test. Uh, and so basically we have four different options, frequent use, special functions. So what this system allows that you don't have with really cheap scanners is on top of scanning the errors, you can also diagnose different systems in your car. This uh, particular scanner, I think can scan up to 40 different modules in the car. The cars are get more complicated every year. So you have a uh, option of basically diagnosing and checking every single system before anything goes wrong and then if you're a mechanic you can probably figure out what's wrong and what can go wrong. I'm just a regular user so for what I need to do I just want to make sure that everything's running fine and from time to time maybe I want to check some sensors. Uh, you can even see uh, the options on my screen. You have service reminders, key registration, sensor calibration. I'm not I'm gonna click this so you can calibrate the sensor. I'm pretty sure you cannot do it on any cheap uh, scanners. Uh, like I said, they only allow you to scan for the errors. Let me click on system scan. So in this mode, the whole system is gonna get scanned and all the modules that are available for this device are gonna be scanned and we'll see the, uh, the end results on the screen. Uh, also, what's good about this system is that the software every year can be upgraded your software can be improved okay so now we have all the systems that we can scan uh, let's click on ABS 
there you go you can read codes clear the codes read this uh, data uh, let's go auto select and basically actual gear everything that you can scan from this module is available over here it's a lot of information uh, for average user so I'm driving right now and uh, I have my computer reading all the data right now this is the engine RPMs and I'm recording all the stats you can go back through our position you can go to the also stats I don't know whether this is going to be improved now I can click health report I like this interface so this is how you can probably read the codes and so far I got no codes uh, and the way it displays all the data it is really nice and uh, in clear way so everybody can clearly see what's going on everything is in green that means I have no problems uh, and let's go and finish the test I'm really I'm really impressed with this G sensor ignition switch master cylinder pressure let's see what this wow so much information in this small device now if we go back to the main screen under maintenance functions we're going to have another options for resetting a bunch of sensors some of those options uh, you may have to pay for it because those are additional to the software that comes with the version that uh, you buy now obd functions let's go over here Okay, so it's loading is some information that are supported so this device can support 40 data streams on my particular car model I'm gonna click OK uh, read live data okay so that's the same thing that I had in the other menu as you can see each menu has a sub menu and sub menu underneath that so you have multiple choices of choosing different systems to check and this will allow you to fully diagnose the entire system of uh, basically every model car that you may choose now if you're going to do some reports i'm gonna click on that and i'll see what we have so on my report list we can see the data stream whatever we did and we can play the data stream that we've recorded so you don't have to look for it anywhere on your phone everything is actually right here uh, on the same app and we can even see the the graph of it and let me go and check another data stream engine speed and we can play the same thing and we can check how my engine speed changed and we can see it in a graph mode uh, all system diagnostics and I have all the information that I need and everything is passed everything is in green we can expand this see all the other information that are pertinent to this uh, car everything is fine so far another report everything includes serial number so you can easily show it to your dealer I wish I had this device when I was in Maui a couple of weeks ago because I got on the first day Chenk engine light and I didn't know what it was had to drive to uh, the rental company uh, basically I wasted more than two hours doing that and they reset the, the sensor there was something wrong with the oxygen sensor uh, they just reset it and I was fine for the next week so this is great small portable tool that I'm gonna be taking on my vacations 
the one more thing that I would like to say is that when you buy this, the price is $60. Right now it's uh, July 2021. For the price, you get to scan five car models for free in the first year. After that, you need to pay $39.95. So you need to decide if the price that you pay is gonna be worth the, all the information that you get. And the last thing, what I want to say is that all the information that you get scanned with this device, then later you can transfer onto your phone and you don't need to print anything. But of course, you can transfer everything to your email. You can send it to the printer. Uh, so if you need to go to your mechanic, you can show the raw data. Uh, you can send them straight uh, to email all the information that they require. So it's a great tool. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching again. Goodbye.